an interview with AIT Honorable Eseme Eibo, a former member of the House of Representatives, revealed that he saw footage of the convoy of Bolatinobu and how people were complaining that it was too much. Eibo revealed that it is wrong to think that the convoy belongs to the president alone. He further stated that if the president returns from a trip, there will be people who will go to the airport to receive him such as senators and government officials and as such the convoys will more than double is that how they do elsewhere that is why we are not making progress that is why we are not making progress we celebrate nonsense Irre a, a, unnecessary things the time we are supposed to use to dedicate and make the life of the people better it is always difficult but to do bad things it is very very easy for them all those other countries that he was coming from or he went to, is that how the people will just go there and be, even those ones, can they can even say that uh, their government is even doing at least all this, uh, the normal amenities and the way that their life will be better every day by day. They are seeing those things on a daily basis. They have not even gotten that nonsense time to go and see, they want to go and be welcoming people. Do they do that? And that is why some people they will tell you they want to they want to flag off a a or to commission a road even flag off of a of a road that they want to construct. They will do party. They will all manner of things. Half of the money that they were supposed to use to do the job, they will use it for flag off to do ceremony first, wasting money. And this uh, according to this uh, Ayubu or what does he call himself? First and foremost, there is one impression I want to correct. I was just sitting down watching during the social media presentation and I saw footage of the convoys of the president. People were complaining that uh, in that in the airship you are having that number of vehicles. That is a very wrong perception. For example, if the president as it were returned from a trip, you would have you'd have so many people who would drive to go and receive him you will save senators you could have you could have seen senators people serving several appointments and president's aides for example if you have about 20 to 30 senators who decide to go to the airport to receive the president when you see such a convoy with along with the president or any other official you may end up creating the opinion that this is a convoy of one person i just want to correct that uh, impression because they are not even serious but i was even talking about uh, the the masses the so-called is they don't have they because they are all just they're being paid for doing nonsense doing beautiful rubbish because if you are really working for the people you will not have that that time it's not as if you are part of the other little. It's not as if you are, it's not as if you are part of the aid. So you are just a minister that you are supposed to be somewhere working for the people and uh, let them see the dividends of democracy. No, you will leave that one to go and meet somebody. Ah, in fact, eh, it's just so, so ridiculous the manner at which these people really think. When other people from other countries are listening to us, they will just like, hey, are these guys, are they okay? Does it mean everybody is like that? Everybody is not like that too. In Nigeria, it's not everybody that is a thief. Oh. It's not everybody that is shameless. Oh. Like all these politicians. Not his fault. Election is over and is guaranteed the next four years. Mr. Man, I am sorry to say that uh, all of you are useless. Shameless, primitive and psychophantic slaves. They are all jobless and idle. That is why they have the time abandon their duties to display nuisance. Of course, this person is speaking my mind. Display nuisance on Nigerian roads. A president who just spent a few days outside and hundreds of political criminals went to welcome him. Can this happen in developed countries? In fact, that's why I said it is not everybody that is useless in Nigeria. Where he went to, is that how they do things? These guys at Tunubu. It's over 70 years, according to the age that he declared. And he has been, he has, all his life, they have been going abroad, though. But all of them has been, they have been going abroad, yet they cannot learn anything. Do you see how they are so useless? Because if things are going, don't, going well there, you know, some people don't have opportunity of seeing good things happening in other places. But these guys, they have the opportunity, but they refuse to do the right thing. Do you know they do the opposite? Because if all these uh, people that they call uh, AIDS or whatever, if they are serious with their jobs, they will not have this nonsense time. Can it happen in developed countries? They claim to be copying 
opportunistic political non-entities and noisance. In fact, you just described it. Don't worry, it is as a result of a fear of the unknown because of the stolen people's mandate and the removal of first subsidy. In addition, an increase in politician wage by 114% coupled to Nepal new increase. Why will he not be afraid of the poor masses is, is a Catholic Pope. Is he a Catholic Pope? Even if he moves with 1,000 convoys, he should always remember that the day he lived here, no single convoy will follow him, not even Keke Napeb. That is a this, that is a reckoning that everyone should always think about. Thank God we have a reasonable people, unlike animal obi that talks with no sense. <laughs> a goat reasons better than you. Animalistic Bukwara continue. It is the foolish and senseless uh, obedience that always jump into conclusion. <laughs> Mind you, there are three to four with their convoys and prominent persons as well to go to hell if you are not happy. Because all of you, that is the thing all of you are copying from these old people. What are the legacies they are putting behind? Playing with people's lives because they, they don't have anything to do. Hmm. Can you imagine? Which appointments are you expecting or lobbying for? You can as well be conferred a son without being a barrister since you like advocating for free. Can you just imagine? So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.